Hey, Chad Madden here with Breakthrough and wanted to talk with you through an aha moment I had the other day with an owner. And uh, they got to a point where we were talking about direct response marketing, direct access marketing, going right to the consumer. And they said, just tell me what to do. And I, <laughs> I was like, well, let's back up a second and see where that came from because I've never seen this work out. Um, I have said it myself, but that type of mindset it is not conducive to owning a successful private practice and growing your business. So I, I know many times what happens for us is, you know, we, we look for advice from people that are farther than where we're at today, or they're where we're wanna be. I, Gary Vee has a, a quote around that, but, um, and a lot of other famous people do as well, but you get the idea there. So we, we look for a mentor, we look for somebody to help us, and we say, you know, just tell me what to do or what would you do in this situation? Something like that, right? So we see this huge curve, Y equals X to the N, the exponential growth curve. And we're like, hey, by the way, um, I want to be out here, right? And we ignore all the other stuff here. So if we really look close in detail, we think it's a smooth line. It's not really not a smooth line. What it is, is a whole bunch of these and they're called transition curves. And they're really like little aha moments, little cognitions, little realizations that you have on your private practice journey to being a successful private practice owner. And here's what they stand for. So in the beginning, we of uh, whatever phase we're in right now, we get we have uninformed optimism, right? Uh, in the very beginning, if you think about when you were working for another private practice uh, or another PT company, another setting, you were like, wow, I'm gonna open my own practice and change the world, right? This boundless hope and uh, eternal optimism, right? And then something happens. We realize that we don't know how to bill or we realize we don't know we can't answer our phone and schedule a patient while we're treating somebody else there's some sort of uh, error to our dream right and so now we have informed pessimism oh this is a lot harder than I thought I have to do everything I have to be the marketer I have to be the uh, clinician I have to do the, do the billing I have to schedule I have to do all this other stuff plus believe it or not not everybody respects me um, or, you know, this physician moved away and I lost my top referral source, right? All this stuff is happening to us. So now we have informed pe pessimism here. We didn't know what we didn't know. Now we know that there are certain things that we don't know how to do, right? And we get to this bottom point and COM stands for crisis of meeting, right? And so we either discover um, and we learn and we have a realization about, okay, this is how life works or this is how proper practice life works. And now I can have informed optimism. The other thing that can happen here is we cannot change and we get crash and burn, right? We close a practice or we're just that jaded therapist who's hanging on and, you know, we're going to stay small and I'm not going to hire anybody ever again, you know, that sort of deal, right? Um, and this, <clears throat> just tell me what to do, is a symptom of, of this, right? That's crashing and burning. And, you know, in a previous video, I talked about um, a lot of private practice owners, and I would say more than 50% operate their financials on nothing more than looking at their checking account balance. And that is not healthy, right? If we're going to grow and expand, you first have to realize that physical therapy is the low cost option in healthcare, right? So we have to run on a little bit tighter margins. The next thing that you have to realize is looking at your checking account balance, logging into your bank account online and seeing what's going on there is not successful business owner mindset. That is clinician mindset, right? And that's going to hurt you long term if you continue to do that. We'll have training um, other, uh, on that at another time, but I want to walk through, um, and this is for the early private practice owner, you know, you're out, you are your private practice, right? So you're doing uh, a lot. Maybe you have a receptionist, maybe you have an assistant, um, maybe you have another therapist, um, but this is for that mindset and I wanna help you overcome that. So you can continue to grow and expand and leave an impact because we, we need lots of owners leaving impacts um, the, across the country. Anyhow, so you that uninformed optimism in the beginning, basically what we're saying there is don't tell me what to do, right? If you think back, to a few months ago or a few years ago when you worked for somebody else, the reason that you likely left that is you had a jaded experience, 
something was not optimum. He didn't like how something was done. Um, I know one time I was passed over for a promotion, um, and so felt jaded, left that position, went to another position, and then there uh, they did a, some ethical things that I didn't really, uh, or unethical things that I didn't really care for. Um, I, I'll leave it at that. But anyhow, you know, you likely had a similar experience. So it's don't tell me what to do. I want to be my own boss, right? And then we get to, now we know that we don't know some things and we say, I don't know what to do, right? I thought being a therapist, providing high quality of care um, was gonna solve all my problems. I didn't understand that I had to have good phone skills to schedule somebody. I didn't understand that I had to um, now have personnel, right? Like if we look at the four pillars, um, I didn't understand that I had to be a good marketer. Um, I didn't understand that I had to be good with finances and money. I didn't understand that I had to master personnel and build personnel systems for uh, sourcing people, interviewing, hiring, uh, incentivizing, et cetera. Um, and I didn't understand that I had to know operations. I thought I just had to know PT. And if I'm a good PT, then everything else takes care of itself. You and I know that's not the case, right? So I don't know what to do. And then really that crisis of meaning we get to is learn. And um, there, there's a difference in conversation between an owner who's at that crisis of meaning and they're going to go this route and this route. And the, just tell me what to do. That, that is, that is desperate. And if you think, and I mean, this was unfortunate, but when I was having the conversation with that owner and they said, just tell me what to do. Like I kind of laughed a little like, <laughs> like that sort of deal. And I, I felt bad immediately. I was like, oh, I don't mean to laugh at this situation, but I recognized it that it was going to happen right away. And I said, you know, isn't it kind of funny that a few months ago you were telling, you were saying, don't tell me what to do to somebody else. And now you're saying, just tell me what to do. Right. It, it's kind of like one of life's ironies. Anyhow. So to make the growth pattern happen, we have to learn, right? There's ton of free, this is the information age. So, you know, you're watching this video, you're obviously learning. Um, you can be doing a million other things, going to the library, taking out books for free. Uh, there's a ton of information in terms of those four pillars, personnel, marketing, finance, operations, right? And I, I've shared lists of books that you can go to. That's where I got a lot of my information from. The other thing that you can do is have mentors, right? Very, very simple shift that you can make. Find mentors, um, bounce ideas off of them, ask about their experiences, what major learnings that they've had and their crisis of meaning moments. Uh, you know, there, there's some nuggets in there for you, but we can learn or we can play victim, right? And that's the crash and burn. Just tell me what to do. I don't know what to do. If you tell me what to do, um, I'll do whatever you say, right? That, that's typically a bad sign of that uh, crash and burn mentality. Anyhow, um, and then here we know that, oh my gosh, I can learn this. I can implement it. Now, what happens for a lot of us uh, in, in the beginning, and a, another little secret point in there is we, we resent marketing. We resent having to learn something new. Um, we resent marketing, personnel, finance, operations. The, the truth is, if, if you made it through a PT school and you have a degree and you have a license, you passed your license exam, then chances are that might even be easier for you to learn, right? Again, a ton of information out there for you. We have a lot of goodies over at, you can go over to learnwithbreakthrough.com. Um, I have some free information, free courses, free handouts for you to take a look at what we're doing um, in a successful private practice. Uh, it's for me here in central Pennsylvania, but we've also worked with over 800 owners uh, in the last five years. Uh, some of them have done really, really well going on to, you know, if we talk about the upper end of the curve here, they exited their practice for uh, literally millions of dollars or just had a really cool win last week where somebody uh, is now three years into their practice. They're out of full-time treating, really, really cool stuff there, but you get to see that growth. You hear from other practice owners, and by the way, there's some other things other than just tell me what to do that'll be said uh, in, in the crash and burn. Um, and typically, uh, it, it, it's along the lines of that victim mentality, right? So, um, it, you know, it's it's grasping for straws and outside agencies rather than focusing on what you, you can do. 
by the way, I'm here to tell you, you can do that. You can make the change. You can implement and, and ultimately help more people leave a bigger impact and grow the practice um, that you want. But you have to control it. You have to learn. You have to be willing to implement as well. We've worked with, again, a whole range of private practice owners now in 12 different countries. Um, so both PT and physio private practice owners. And the, the differing thing that I can tell you is the people that make that transition, that get to the informed optimism, that continue their growth um, and continue to escalate quickly, um, they implement really, really well. So they learn and then they implement it right away. And I, I know that they uh, have a better understanding than most. They're learning so that they can implement, get it into their their private practice and have success there as well. Um, anyhow, this is Chad Madden with Breakthrough. I hope this helped you. I hope it helped change your mindset um, and open up the doors for you to learn, whether we're talking about direct access, marketing, finance, operations, um, or uh, personnel as well. Thanks. Thanks for watching this video. If you found this helpful and you want to learn more, then head over to learnwithbreakthrough.com to access our free, in-depth training tutorials. That's learnwithbreakthrough.com. Thanks again for tuning in.